Hello, how you doing? This is Sarah, Sarah Gucci from the Bayou State. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Rasta beanie hat and an infinity scarf. You will learn how to make these items on this one video. You will need one super saver. I would suggest for a beginner to use this yarn because it's easy to work with. The 7 ounce. You will need an upholstery needle, scissors, a tape measure with at least 60 inches long, two different size crochet hooks. This is a 9 millimeter and this is a 5 millimeter. I had fun making this thing. It took about four hours to make. And that's just because I was busy trying to stop, you know, dealing with the husband. <laughs> um, so usually for a beginner, it takes anywhere from five to six hours to make both projects. The way this video is set up with step-by-step -step instructions, it's broken down in sections so that way you'll be able to pause, work on your project along with the video. The next two sections are warm up, so I suggest that you stop by, pay close attention to the warm up before you get started with the project. And thank you again for so supporting King Crochet. I think, and I, you know, and I wanted to give a shout out for everybody that has supported, downloaded my videos. Um, it keeps me inspired, continue, especially in this day and time of this economy, the way it is. So I thank you for your continued support. Please uh, stay tuned to my website because I'm going to have more projects coming up this is just one of many that that's on the that I've been working on also I will have a new um, for the fall new colors new fall colors um, I'm also going to be having trunk shows and also I am setting up where you'll be able to order things wholesale if, for those that own boutiques you'll be able to purchase items from me wholesale but again I thank you for your support and stay tuned Hello, how you doing? This is Sarah. Some call me Sarah Geechee from the Bayou State. Today you're gonna learn we're gonna be learning how to make a Rasta beanie hat and also an infinity scarf. First thing you can make sure that you need you have is your scissors. You're gonna need two different size crochet hooks, a nine millimeter, five millimeter, you would need an upholstery needle, and you will also need tape measure. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure the circumference around your head because this is going to be oversized not too tight so that's at 26 and I'm going to measure how long I want my scarf I'm going to make my measurement at 55 so you jot your measurements down after you jot your measurements down I'm going to show you how to make uh, your chain so now what we're getting ready to do, we're getting ready to make a chain. Now, for your scarf and for your hat, you're going to make chains. You're going to make one chain uh, for the hat shorter, and you're going to make the other chain for the scarf longer. But you're going to make chains for both projects. So basically what we're doing is we're killing two birds with one stone. So the same way that you make the hat, you're gonna the same technique you're gonna use on the hat is the same technique basically you're gonna be using on the scarf. Only thing at the end um, there's gonna be a difference for is the tie off. So first thing I'm gonna show you now is how to make a chain. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a slip knot. Simple basic slip knot. And then you're going to start out with your 9 millimeter crochet hook and you're going to slip it through there and you're going to tighten it up a little bit, not too tight. You're going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and you're going to pull it through. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and you're going to pull it through. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and you're going to pull it through. And what you're doing is you're making your chain, like my measurements was 26 inches for my hat, so I'm going to do my chain 26 inches. Your uh, measurements may be different from mine, but whatever it is, you're going to do it 
the length that you're supposed to for your hat. Then when it comes down to your scarf, when you get ready to make your scarf, you're going to do the same exact thing. Only thing different is, it's going to be longer. So you're just going to keep making your chain, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, and then I'm going to show you next what to do. Okay, we're going to start our warm up on how to make a chain. So this is basically how you how the chains look chains are basically your it's your foundation it is your foundation to make scarves hats uh skirts shorts blankets pillows it all starts with the chain so first what we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot so there is our slip knot and we're going to take our crochet hook and we're going to push it through. And we're going to pull it kind of not too tight. Okay. So I, I call these my scissors. So I take my two fingers and I pull the thread through. And I take these free fingers that I have sitting right here. And they hold the slip knot in place. And so what I do, I grab the yarn and I pull it through. 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 And this is what you do. This is the foundation right here. It's building a chain. So practice on that for a while and I'm going to show you how in the next section on how to build on top of the chain. So now that we have made our chain we're about to start building on top of our chain a second layer. So this is where we started. So here is the little hole. You'll see a little hole there. You're going to stick the crochet hook through that hole. So now you have two loops on your crochet hook. One, two. So now we're going to start the technique on how to build on top of our chain. We're going to grab the yarn and we're going to pull it through those two. So I like to look and show you there's another hole right there, right next door. So we're going to grab the yarn, push it through that hole, grab some yarn, pull it through that hole. So now we have how many? One, two, three. Three chains. Grab the yarn and pull it through that one. Again, and it's basically it's like six different steps. One, we wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. We find our next hole. Two, push the crochet hook through. Three, we wrap the yarn around and we pull it. That is four, pull it through. Five, we wrap the yarn around. Six, we pull it through. So there's like six steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is how we build on top. So just take your time and stop and pause it if you need to. Go back through it until you learn how to build on top of your chain. And this is all we're doing. Wrap the yarn around. Push it through the next hole. I miss it. Push it through the next hole. Grab, grab the yarn. Pull it through. Wrap the yarn around, 
and pull it through. And that's basically what all you're doing. So now we're getting ready to change out our crochet hooks. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to put my five in. And we're going to do the same technique. Only thing different is we're just using a smaller crochet hook. Push it through the hole. Pull it through. Wrap the yarn around. And pull it through. This is going to make the brim turn around. Pull it through. And I suggest that you do this at least three to four rows. And you see how as we're going, you see, you know, you can really see the holes here. So now all we're doing is doing the basic same technique, wrap the yarn around, push it to the next hole, pull it through, wrap the yarn around, and pull it through. Wrap the yarn around, push it through the hole, wrap the yarn around, pull it through, wrap the yarn around and pull it through and that's all we're doing and we're gonna do this like I said anywhere from three to four rows and after you get to your stopping point I'm gonna show you what to do next so now that you've come to your stopping point for your brim you're getting ready to do a tie off so all I do is I just wrap it through and I pull it through and that's it on that end. So now what we're going to do with the thread that's left over, we're going to thread our needle. thread our needle and so now what we're going to do is basically is we're just going to tuck and pull <laughs> we're going to tuck it and pull it through it gives you a better finish basically that's what we're doing pull it all the way through and we just going down in here and tucking our thread and pulling it through. Tuck your thread and pull it through. And we're just tucking and pulling it through. So now it off, tie it, I'm going like, to tie it three or four times, snip, so now this is our brim, so we're going to flip it on the other side and I'm going to show you what to do next so now that you have finished your brim so now we're going to flip it over and this thread right here is where we started where you started your head so this is going to be like your little marker you're going to thread your needle anywhere from 18 20 inches long at least and where the marker is, that's where you're going to start. And at the very next hole, next to the string, you're going to push the thread through. And when you come to the end where the knot is, you just kind of hold it in. Don't push it all the way through. Just, just save that. So then we come to the next hole. Straighten this out for you. And we push it through kind of like sewing a little bit 
Come to the next hole and push it through. Come to the next hole. Pull it through. So we're just pushing it. And pull on the next hole. We're going to do that the holes all the way that's up at the top. Push it through. And we're going to do that all the way around till you get to your marker. And this is where your marker is. So now that we have come to the end, and we have met up where our marker is, and this is the thread that we had the knot, and I told you to kind of save it at the end. So we're going to push it through our last hole which is actually what we first started and what we're going to do grab these two together and we're going to gently pull not too tight gently pull And so what I like to do, after I've gently pulled it, I tie about two or three knots. So I take this, take my little crochet hook, and I'm going to fish it through. This is the inside. And there in the center, there's a little hole. So I'm going to stick my crochet hook through to the other side. Wrap one end. Not the end where you have the um, crochet, the needle. Don't, don't pull that through. Just pull this one through. So you pull it through to the other side. This is on the inside now. So now we flip it to back, and this is where we kind of tighten up on our um, stitches here, kind of reinforce it. So I'm going to let you see up close what I'm doing. So I stick it through, I pull it through the inside. And one is on the inside. I push it through. And we're just gonna do this backwards and forth, backwards and forth. I suggest you do it about six or seven times to kind of make sure it's nice and nice and tight. It's the inside, and I'll push it through. And I'll pull it through over here on the other side. And after you do it a few times, you'll get for me what I, what what's going on here. And I'll push it back through. So on the inside, push it back through. And I pull it through. And for my last and final, I push it through. And this is, this is the inside of the head. And I pull it through. And this was the first string that we pulled through earlier, the crochet hook. And so you're gonna tie it off. And I'd like to tie it a couple of times. Make sure it's nice and tight. And snip. So this is your Rasta beanie hat. Now I'm going to show you how to do your scarf. So now on our scarf, if we after we have made it at least anywhere from four to six inches wide, we're going to come to our stopping point, and I'm going to pull this one out and put the five in, and I'm going to wrap the yarn around. 
and I'm gonna pull the yarn through. I want it nice and tight. So now I'm gonna thread my needle with the remainder of the thread. Kind of cut that out to make sure you get a nice little finish here. And so, when we do the scarf, we're not going to tie it. We're not going to do any tying. So we just, I got that right there, and I'm just going to pull it through. Because we don't want, because the way we wear our scarf, we don't want to see any cuts or where we've been cutting. The hat kind of different. You can kind of tie and snip in the, inside the hat because no one's going to be looking inside your hat. So we'll just pull it through. All we're doing is tucking and pulling through. Take our time. And just tuck. Pull through. Tuck. And pull through. And I like to come back up sometimes. Tuck. And pull through. And I'm going back down. Tuck. And pull through. And I'm going back up. And I'll pull through. And then I'm going back down. And I pull it through. And then I go back up. And I pull it through. And I go back down. And I pull it through. So I feel like I'm getting to a point where I'm ready to just cut this. And I pull it through. Snip that as close as I can. And ladies and gentlemen, we are done. We have completed our infinity scarf.